Hey guys, it's Erwan Yusuf. I am back in Japan and it's winter time, one of my favorite seasons in this country, and there's a particular reason why. In Japan, come winter time, you'll see different types of satsuma imo, sweet potato flavored snacks. For about three centuries, ishiyaki imo, roasted sweet potatoes and stones, were sold street side from vendors, and they eventually became trucks. This tuber has been popular in Japan ever since it helped curb a possible famine in the mid 18th century when rice crops started failing. The sweet potato was swiftly planted and spread through various prefectures where it helped prevent a food shortage. In the Kanto area, you will actually find some shrines dedicated to this humble vegetable. I just got to Sendai and as you know, Japanese train stations are absolutely the best when it comes to snacks in general because they have just so much variety and so much to choose from. Um, so I got this little like sweet potato, not really very <laughs> descriptive, but it's a sweet potato. Oh, did not expect that at all. And this is actually not a whole sweet potato. This is looks like maybe mashed sweet potatoes. Look at that. It looks like a cupcake almost. Hey now. It's like sweet potato with obviously some added sugar. Lemon. It has a very cakey kind of um, texture. I'm not sure if they added flour, but it's just really dense and heavy. But wow, that's delicious. And that's extremely sweet. The other one I picked up looks more like traditional mini boiled or roasted sweet potatoes. Right here. I'm gonna try to get that really beautiful shot when you go, no, it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, so these are slightly drier than what you would get with a grilled sweet potato. Mm, okay. Straight up, not like the luscious kinds that we see during winter, but this is like a great kind of little snack if you need to carb up a little bit, need some energy, good to go. But that cupcake, ridiculous. I ate my way through the Tohoku region during a really cold winter, trying to look for other snacks I could get my hands on, but unfortunately, I came up short. But I knew I was gonna be able to find some in Tokyo. I had one night left, so I started with some sushi, kyube, and some cocktails. So I'm finally back in Tokyo, had the most amazing meal at kyube. That's not why we're here, but that sushi was so good. That was completely unexpected. Um, Bar High Five is probably one of my favorite bars in Tokyo. Headed by the great Ueno-san, who is considered one of the best bartenders in the world. Uh, and I was, <laughs> I was happily surprised that they had some crispy sweet potato candied fries. They were absolutely delicious. Just coated in just sweet, sugary, crunchy syrup just to complement the sweet potato. We are in Asakusa, which is a really nice area of Tokyo. It's actually uh, slightly more traditional. You kind of have lower houses. And this is also where you have the famous Sensoji Temple. But this is a haven for the sweet potatoes that we're looking for. And there's gonna be a bunch of treats that I know I'll be able to get here. So let's get to it. It's 10 in the morning and I'm hungry, so let's carve up. <laughs> First on my list was the Daigaku Imo, or University Potatoes. Crisp, deep fried chunks of sweet potatoes, creating a glassy outer shell, protecting a fluffy treasure inside, are glazed with a sweet syrup and sprinkled with toasted sesame seeds. You can choose your tuber variety and they will give you different variations of flavor and texture. Mm. Nice and fresh, nice and sweet. The sesame seeds on top kind of just give it that extra crunch and that almost smoky flavor. And it's nice and crunchy outside, but really moist inside, which is really nice. Next for the double baked mashed sweet potatoes mixed with milk, lots of butter, sugar, and eggs, creating an adequately portioned cake shaped after its main ingredient that's reminiscent of a densely buttery pound cake. So good. It's really cakey, but it basically tastes like mashed potatoes that's a bit sweetened, which is really nice. I think this is similar to what we had previously in the little packets, but fresher, it's much nicer. 
They also had these apple potatoes, basically mashed sweet potato stuffed apples that are available only from fall to spring. I just needed a little time to digest. Funawa has been around for a hundred years and is probably one of the most known sweet potato specialists in this area. First off was the Imo Yokan ice cream, which had me wanting for more. Soft serve in Japan will always just make so much sense to me, even though it's absolutely freezing outside. This is such a treat and I don't know what it is. It's a combination of just the ingredients, the sugar that they use, the milk and the cream that they use, just makes everything so luscious and kind of really sticky. But yeah, it's really nice and refreshing. Next, their famous Imo Yokan, a sweet potato paste that is baked briefly to give it a caramel-like crunchy exterior. That's crazy. That's literally just sweet potato. There's nothing else there. But it's cut perfectly and it's kind of, I guess, placed in an oven or torch so that you kind of have this quote unquote caramelization happening on top with a, maybe natural sugar or maybe some added sugar. But that's literally just a sweet potato. So basically, like you would have your traditional sweet potato vendors on the side of the street. This is basically that, just made a bit more fancy and just cubed up really nice and pretty and look at those lines that's when you know something's made in Japan look how precise that is mm. I walked around the area a little bit more to see if there would be anything that would catch my eye aside from wafers I saw another shop selling ice cream and I just had to try it to see if it was any different than the first enter Asakusa Mandango This one's kind of like a milk swirl with sweet potato in there, obviously. Not as sweet as the last one, but the flavor that really does come through here is kind of like this burnt sugary sweet potato caramel. You know when you grill a sweet potato, the natural sugars start coming out, you get that little black crust. That's exactly what it tastes like. So you have that really intense flavor mixed in with that just very neutral milk flavor. Not much sweetness. Oh, it's so good. There's so much more to eat. I'm not gonna buy any, but make sure you check out places like 7-Eleven or Family Mart where they have uh, some sweet potato Kit Kat from time to time. You'll also have some sweet potato kind of wafers, lots of different varieties. You also have sweet potato sake or soju rather. Um, so yeah, they use it in absolutely everything. So we are in the Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi uh, department store. They have a really great underground food park for uh, freshly made foods, but also for food and fresh items that you can buy and ingredients. And we found our grilled sweet potato, or boiled sweet potato rather. Still looks good. It's not grilled. It's not the grilled one we were going after, but it's steamed and it's just so good and kind of like naturally soft sweet, which is exactly what I love about Japanese sweet potatoes, they're just so creamy. So I was walking around Asakusa trying to look for a kakigori shop. Uh, kakigori is a really thinly shaved fluffy ice where the guys are kind of masters of how they make their ice because it needs to be really dense so that when you cut it you have nice like fluffy shards that actually stay icy. And I've seen that made with some sweet potato creams or syrups before and that's what I really wanted to show you guys. Unfortunately, it's winter and not a lot of people serve um, kakigori during winter time unfortunately. So that actually wraps up our hunt for sweet potato dishes in Tokyo and I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I have about one hour left so I'm probably gonna hit some udon shop or just have a nice soup because it's quite cold again today. Um, and thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content and always please let me know what you want to see next. Sometimes I run out of ideas so if I can pick your brains that would be amazing. Thanks guys, have a good day, see ya.